Okay, so let's look at numbers seven and nine. This is section 2.5. Um, and we're looking at the empirical rule. And I apologize, my my puppy is moving toys around in the background, so you might hear that kind of going on back there. A company has a policy of retiring company cars. This policy looks at numbers of miles driven, purpose of the trips, style of the car, and other features. The distribution of the number of months in service for the fleet of cars is bell-shaped and has a mean of 52 months and a standard deviation of three months. And we're gonna use our empirical rule uh, to figure out what the approximate percentage of cars that remain in service between 43 and 49 months. Okay, so um, I believe I've written down the mean and the standard deviation here. So let's go over to that page. And I'm going to draw a picture of our uh, bell curve for this. So bear with me. Kind of writing with my mouse is not not the best. Like I said, not very straight. But we get we get the feel here. Of course, that's supposed to be a nice symmetric normal curve. It's not perfect. My mean is 52, so I'm going to put that in the center. And then on either side, I'm going to go one standard deviation to the right and one standard deviation to the left. So um, if I do 52 minus 3, that'll put me, we'll just say right about in here. So that's going to be 49. And then if I do 52 plus 3, that'll be 55. Now let's remember the empirical rule says that 68% of the data lies within um, one standard deviation. So 68% lies between here and here. Again, I apologize for my almost first grader like use of the mouse here. Okay, now let's go two standard deviations away. Um, so if I go two standard deviations away, if I subtract three again, that's gonna put us at 46. And over here, if I add 3, it's going to put us at 58. And, of course, our empirical rule says that 95% of the data... <laughs> I'm sorry, she's being really noisy right now. 95% <laughs> lies between those two pieces of data. All right, now let's go to 3. Whoops, that was not very good. That's supposed to be a percentage. All right, now let's go three standard deviations left and right again. Um, so this will be a 43, three standard deviations away. And then three plus the 58 will put us at 61. All right, now. And of course, so between 43 and 61 is 99.7%. Um, I don't know if I have room to, but um, let's see. I'll just kind of do this from here to here is 99.7%. Okay, now um, let's look back at the question to see what uh, exact uh, ones of these we want to look between to find our percent. So let's see. Um, we want to know what's the approximate percentage of cars that remain in service between 43 and 49. So let's find 43 and 49 on my picture. Okay, so between right here and right here. Okay, now we're going to have to do a little bit of math here to figure out some percentages. All right, so first of all, notice that there's 68% between here and here, between these two values. And then there's 95% between um, 46 and 58. So for the moment, let's figure out how much is right here. 
If we subtract 95 minus 68, that will tell me what is left over for these two spots right here. And since there's two spots, all we'll need to do is divide that by two, and that'll tell us what each one of them is. So let's see, 95 minus 68, whatever that is. Let's see, what is that? 27, I believe. All right, so 27, let's divide it by 2. And that's going to be 14, uh, let's see, 13.5. Okay, so that means right here from 46 to 49 is really 13.5%. That's just this, this distance right here. Now we could also say that this side right here is 13.5, but our, since our question is asking from 43 to 49, we don't really care about that right side, but we could fill in that this right here was 13.5. All right, now um, let's remember from 46 to 48 was 95, and from 43 to 61 was 99.7. So let's do the same thing that we just did to figure out what this percentage is from 43 to 46. Let's take our 99.7 and subtract our 95 point, our 95, and then we'll divide it by two, and that will give us this amount right here. And the other half, of course, would have been the amount that was over here. So 99.7 minus 95 is going to be 4.7%. And again, let's just take that 4.7 and divide it by two, and it's going to tell us what's left over. And so that is um, 2.35. Now, the thing about this is, so this distance right here between 43 and 46 represents 2.35%. And I am not writing very well here. but So we want to know what percentage of our data is in between 43 and 49. We know that 2.35% is between 43 and 46, and 13.5% is between 46 and 49. And we can just add together 2.35 and 13.5, and we will get, um, let's see, 15.85%. Uh, so 15.85% is between those two values. Now, the truth is, if you want to, now that we've done this, we can actually know what the percentage is because this will not change. It will always be between this third standard deviation and the second standard deviation. It will always be 2.35%. And between 46 and 49, or really between the second standard deviation and the first standard deviation, it'll always be 13.5, regardless of what numbers are up here. So once you've done one of these, it may be wise to make yourself a little drawing and go, okay, I know that between the third and the second standard deviation, it's always 2.35%. And between the second and the first standard deviation, it's always 13.5. And if we wanted to, we could figure out very easily what it is between the first standard deviation and the mean itself simply by dividing the 68 in half because half of it is right here and half of it is right here. So this would be 34% that is between the first standard deviation and the mean. And once we have that, we can answer any of these questions. Um, the difference is, of course, and that for every single one of them, we'll have to mark our different values right here on the normal curve. But these values that are the percentages will stay the same. All right, so let's go to the second one, and I believe it's the same type. I think it was number nine that you asked about. So let me um, pull that up. All right, so same idea. Let's notice we're using our empirical rule again. Um, the maintenance department at the main campus of a large state university receives daily requests to replace fluorescent light bulbs. 
The distribution of the number of daily requests is bell-shaped and has a mean of 62 and a standard deviation of 6. And I'm going to write those down so that we can transfer them over. So our mean is 62 and the standard deviation is 6. And again, we are going to use our empirical rule. We want to know what is the approximate uh, percentage between 62 and 74. Okay. Okay, so I'm back on my screen. I'm going to draw another bell curve. Now, this time our mean is 62. Our standard deviation is 6. So let's go one standard deviation in both directions. So if I subtract 6, this will be a 56. And this, if I add 2, this will be a 68. Now, this should be the same distance. I know I was a little imperfect there because it should be exactly the same distance from the 62. Okay, now that is 64% of the data between these two right here, between 56 and 68. Um, but let's break it down a little bit. Since this whole distance is 68, that means that just half of the distance is 34%. So we got really 34% right here, and we have 34% right here. Okay, now let's keep going. Let's subtract 6 again and get two standard deviations away. So if I subtract 6, I will get a 50. And if I add 6, I will get 74. Now, fortunately for us, the question only asked, for the uh, amount or the percent of, of data between 62 and 74. So we don't even need to go out three standard deviations. So let's not. But um, since in our prior problem, we already figured out what the percent was from one standard deviation to two standard deviations, let's use that information and, and not have to go back to it again. And I believe it was, let's, let's uh, scroll back up here. 13.5%. All right, so I'm going to put that 13.5. So from 50 to 56, 13.5% of the data will fall in there. And from 68 to 74, 13.5% of the data will fall in there. Okay, so our question was how much, what percent of the data was between 62 and 74. So 62 to 68 is 34 percent of the data, 68 to 74 is 13.5 percent of the data. If we add those two together, that's going to be 47.5 percent of the data. 47.5. And hopefully that helps with those questions.